Hi there, Casey Hurt here with another video podcast with Fusion Pilates. Today we're going to be t talking a little bit about how to move the upper body. Now, a foam roller is wonderful and a half foam roller is even better. So what this is going to do is we're going to line up the spine on the foam roller. So the back of my pelvis and sacrum is pressing into the bottom of the roller. I'm going to find my thoracic spine back of the solar plexus on. And from here, if I can, the head can find the roller also. But some people might not be able to get their head to connect here. Now, first things first is we kind of want to see where we're at in space. You want to have a nice supple bend in the knee, the feet nice and parallel, hip distance apart. And with the crest of my shoulder blades, I want to inhale my shoulders up, feeling the roller, and then exhale, let them find the side of my body, again, looking for the foam roller. And inhale up, and then exhale back. Now, we can do a little bit of protraction and retraction. So I'm gonna bring my arms up, fingertips facing forward. I'm gonna inhale. My fingertips are gonna reach long. I'm gonna to try to get my shoulder blade to lengthen out my arm while keeping my mid back, back of the solar plexus connected. And now on my exhale, I wanna wrap the shoulder blades around the roller. And then again, inhale, reaching out. And then exhale, wrapping them back and around the roller. Now, when you're working with clients, you might see that they tip one way, tip another, or that one arm reaches further than the other. So this is a really great cueing mechanism for you as the teacher to constantly cue that they feel the crest of their shoulder blades on and off of the roller. Now, if you want to get good and fancy, you find the shoulders resting around the roller, check in with the pelvis and the mid back, and then one arm at a time, like a toy soldier, you're going to lift up and then back down. And they'll be able to feel their alignment if they're tilting one way or another. And of course, when you're doing opposite arms, it, the tendency to kind of twist into it is a very, very, um, it's a high chance of them doing that. So you want to make sure that you're cueing them back onto the roller. So eventually you'll get into alternating arms, making sure that their collarbones stay wide. Then from here, once they get good at this, you can actually give them hand weights to work a little bit more. Um, also, you can work your tray that you would do as a preliminary exercise to doing it onto the reformer where you serve a tray, the shoulder blades reach into the hands, and then the shoulder blades reach around the roller and back. Or you can do hug a tree. Find your tree pose with the arms, and then you can bring the shoulder blades in and around the roller, and then cue the shoulder blades away from the roller to bring the hands together. Hope you learned some good tips and tricks for doing some upper body work on the wall and half foam roller. Thanks so much for joining us.